Hey. Uh, I woke up in the middle of the night with a terrible backache and neck ache. So, um, just rolling it out. We have every device in the house to help with our muscle because we're old, but we like to work out. <laughs> this one, I'll leave the link below. It looks super scary, but it actually feels really good on your back. It like gets into all the nooks and crannies and, um, you know, keeping me young. Good morning, guys. No. No, not into it? What? <laughs> Dude, I'm not here for you. I'm here for her. Hi, Cece girl. You don't know yet, but I'm taking you into the vet today, and I'm sorry in advance. So, I am currently uh, setting up to film Friday's video, which I'm excited for you guys to see, uh, trying on wedding dresses, but um, I figured I would show you, first of all, my very professional setup. Um, no, but the setting up of the video, because I got sent this whole suitcase of uh, designer wedding dresses from the designer Ema Clay in Barcelona that I've been talking about and they're making my wedding dress. And if you missed any of that, the links will be up here where I like explain more about the brand, etc. But this has been sitting in my living room for a while and I'm finally going to unbox it and then hang everything up and get started with uh, the try on video. I thought it would be fun to share the experience of seeing the dresses for the first time. I don't think the dress that I'm getting is in here. These are all samples. They make all the dresses to order. Um, but we'll see. I've been looking at these online for so long. I'm just like really excited. Just like really excited and a little bit anxious to see them because I mean I did choose my dress without trying it on or seeing it in person so here's hoping the quality is just as good as I imagine it would be oh wow so they're doing a pop-up here in October I'm like co-hosting with them I'll leave the information below I think there's still a few spots available if you're looking for a, a dress it's free to come you just get to come and meet the designer and try on her collection since it's a rare opportunity that she will be uh, here in the States so they sent me this in anticipation of that I'll be holding on to this stuff until they get here um, so Here's all the slips. I know a lot of the dresses um, require a slip underneath, like they'll have a sheer outer layer and then these different uh, tones in slip and also probably different lengths. Oh my God, this is so much stuff. Wowzer. I don't even know where to begin. I can't try them all on or the video will be like three hours long, but I guess let's just start looking at some of it. Oh yeah, see a lot of these have these like gorgeous outer shells. Oh my God, this is stunning. And then you wear the slip underneath. So I guess I should just pick out a few. Wow, you can tell that this was like beautifully handmade. This is amazing. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> okay, you know what? I gotta start hanging them up. Otherwise I'm gonna get so confused. Let's do up. You're high, you're in my closet now. Um, okay, I don't know if you can see, but oh my god, these, if you watch my videos where we go online shopping of this brand, like, these are them. <laughs> it's fancy how that works. Um, but this was the one that I was like really kind of crazy about. And just, it's so fun to see in person. Look at the details. Oh my god. The back. It's gorgeous. Eee. You know what I'm afraid of is that I'm going to try on one of these that I'm not wearing for my wedding and I'm going to fall in love with it and it's going to be confusing. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm going to continue to hang these up and film this video. Hello, editing Lisa here. Um, just pop it in because a few things have changed since I filmed this video and I just wanted to let you know that actually I have already put out the video of me trying on all the Ema Clay Barcelona dresses and um, they turned out really great. So I will leave the link above for that. Sorry, my schedule got kind of turned around. And also now that you're in my closet, it reminded me that I've been meaning to mention that I um, have some of my clothes for rent available. Um, I've been using a service called Wardrobe and I'll leave all the information below. But you can actually rent out some of my higher end clothes that 
that I either wore for like a special event. Basically, most of them I either wore once or just haven't worn at all, like new with tags on them. Um, so check that out. I'm having a really fun time doing it. Not only does it like help um, me with like passive income, um, but it's also just like a sustainable hobby to have. Well, okay, two different things. It's a hobby that also is in the sustainable clothing space. Um, and so I'm here to remind you that you can rent my clothes, but also you can actually start your own closet. Um, I think it's just like a fun thing that I wanted to pass along if you're just looking for um, a way to make a little extra cash or if you have a closet full of stuff that you are like wanting to get rid of but don't actually want to get rid of. Once you like give it to them, you can actually take back the clothes if you are renting them out and then you're like, oh, I actually wish I hadn't done that and I don't want to wear that dress again. You can get your stuff back, no problem. So. I'll leave the link below if you wanted to start your own closet. If you do, first of all, use my name as your referral, please. But secondly, um, send me a link or tag me or let me know in the comments below so that I can check out your closet because I actually have a credit on there and I um, need to start shopping. So uh, I'll rent yours if you rent mine. Uh, all right, back to your regularly scheduled vlog. Having a little snack. I've talked about these before, I'm obsessed with them. Although, I always smell like onions for like the rest of the day after eating them, but whatever. Having my midday coffee. I'm gonna transfer that footage with them. I gotta take Corny to the vet. And it's like, I don't know about you guys, but it's like a, the most anxiety provoking event. Not just for me, because I'm her mom and I just like don't want anything to ever be wrong with her, but she gets so, so anxious at the doctor. General, well, she's anxious, like generally speaking, but she gets really anxious at the doctor. And we're going to a new doctor because it's closer and she just turned nine. She just turned nine. <laughs> um, and I want to make sure that we go to someone that's a little bit closer if ever we need to go there um, in an emergency or whatever, knock on wood. But the cutest thing is I had to fill out all of her paperwork. And so I found her, like I keep a file on her from when I first got her, which has her chip in it. But then... It has the story of her that I reach her every year for her birthday. Her name used to be Piggly Wiggly. She was born Piggly Wiggly in the pound. And look at that little face. Look at that little face. Oh, I just love her so much. She's also having like major separation anxiety when I'm not around. Um, I feel like she's always been like that. She's like part chihuahua, so she has like anxiety tendencies. Same, honestly. But I think because we've been home so much in this last two years, she's gotten really, really attached to me. And so I want to talk to them about that. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know below because I went out of town for like two nights uh, a couple weeks ago and she was just so anxious the whole time and like acting weird and shaking and stuff and poor Jeff had to deal with it and he's wonderful with her and she loves him but it was stressful for both of them I mean we're just like an anxious family I guess generally speaking so hopefully today I'll get some answers or at least some suggestions so oh the life of being a mother you know stressful oh you sweet thing I know you're doing great you're doing okay we did it corny we did it i don't know who's more stressed out corny or me you know when they say like your dog basically just like picks up your own anxieties like when you're walking them on the leash if you're like pulling tight they're going to respond to that and that's why they become like anxious and aggressive well that's me with corny all the time and that makes me worried if ever i were to have a kid i'm working on it guys Work in progress, just a bundle of anxiety. Speaking of which, I should not be vlogging and driving. Jeff, it's 4.45 and you're eating dinner like the oldest person I've ever met. Cause I'm doing shit tonight, like a cool young person. You know what you're not doing? What? Closing the fridge door. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Working on myself. You're doing great. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> no, this is not my vlog where I talk about my thing. Well, okay, I know that you're going to do stand-up right now, and I was hoping, sorry I didn't prep you for this, I was hoping. I don't even know what you're asking, but the answer is going to be no. But go like ahead. one joke. No. Give us one joke. Here's a joke. Okay. Um, 
What did the on the spot fiance say to uh, the over eager fiance? No. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Good luck. Oh my God. Do you ever have those nights where you think it's like midnight and you look at the clock and it's not even 7 p.m.? <laughs> I think it's literally 6.49 and I feel like it's at least 8 p.m. if not 9. I'm so tired. And this video is like a week behind. This will be going up next Wednesday, which is your Wednesday right now. Um, but tonight is the Big Brother finale and it starts at 9 p.m. and it's two hours and we've committed this far to it. And so I feel like we have to stick it out, but I'm thinking like, oh my God, do I need a chug coffee at this point? Am I old or is this just like what society has done to us? Like the world is so heavy right now. Things are so stressful. I'm just tired. Are you tired? Please tell me you're tired. As you guys saw, Jeff is going to do some stand-up, but then he'll be home. Um, I want to go support him, but he's like very particular about when I go. I feel like he's like still working out some of his material. I was so proud of him. I feel like a weird stage mom. Um, is that demented? Yeah, I guess that's not a good way to say it. I feel like a proud stage wife. Ooh. Oh, no. But I uh, ordered Postmates, so... That's what's on the agenda tonight. I'm gonna wait up for my Postmates. So that's what's on the agenda. Um, I had the intention today of putting up some wallpaper. I got some new wallpaper that I'm gonna be doing for my kitchen. My kitchen needs a makeover so bad. Um, but again, I feel like it's midnight, so that'll have to be for the next vlog, but stay tuned because I've never actually tried to wallpaper myself. It's not wallpaper, it's like a vinyl stick and peel. I'll tell you all about it, but um, that's coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm excited to give this bad boy a makeover. Corny. What a day we had. A day full of adventure. It feels like midnight. What time is it? It's like 11. It's 11. We just finished the Big Brother. Were you happy with the winner? Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. And the fact that Tiffany won, I think, is the cherry on top. Anyways, guys, thanks for spending the day with us. You want to see the excitement that is the... Babies! 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 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah! It's the final pee-pee! <laughs> The final pee pee! Yeah! Well, I guess her anxiety is gone, as is mine, because I'm exhausted. <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks for spending the day with me, you guys. I'll see you Friday. Uh, you're great. Yeah! Yeah! I genuinely love Wednesdays with you. Bye. <laughs>